to do the f dishes last night. Maybe there's some leftover rice I could eat. You gotta be f kidding me. Okay, you know what? Let me just put the water here and put this in the pot. Maybe I can watch TikTok while waiting for the water to boil. Okay, I just finished lunch. Okay, I'm gonna study a bit so that maybe this will be a sort of productive day, I guess. Let me just open this right here and then I'm just gonna read this chapter. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm oh, fine. I'm not gonna study today at all. I'm just gonna play today and then work it out from here. Oh, I've been playing for a while. Let me just check the sun. It's literally pitch black outside. Oh my god, I'm such a failure. Okay, that's enough gaming for today. It's time to sleep. Okay, that may seem like a really horrendous day and honestly, I would believe you. I didn't do any studying, I just played all day. But here's some realistic tips to turn your unproductive day to a sort of productive day so that you don't feel bad like me. <laughs> the first thing is that you want to procrastinate with intention. On a day like this, I tell myself, I'm just gonna play today, I'm not gonna study at all. Maybe I'm gonna review my flashcards because I mean, that's what I need to do that every day. But other than that, no study. This will help you feel more at ease because it's like you planned this from the start. It's like you planned this break from the very beginning. And you don't have to feel bad about taking a break once in a while because let's face it, everyone hates themselves. I mean, I do, but I don't know. The next tip is to follow the five minute rule. And basically that means that any task that can be done in five minutes, just do it like just finish them. For example, in the video, I didn't do the dishes. So after eating, I did the dishes immediately. And it felt honestly more rewarding than if I were not to do it. Like just get over that initial hurdle and just do it. Okay, if it takes five minutes, just finish it. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, and because I'm an eat break. Another thing you can do is that you can do other things that are productive, you know, that's not studying. For example, you could clean the house, you know, you can water the garden, or I don't know, you can like, you can go for a walk outside. Now you need to make sure that the next day you won't do the same. The next day you'll be very productive, 
Next day, you'll be studying a lot more than today because you took a break. Think of it as a compromise. Like, if I got the break today, then I have to study tomorrow a lot more to compensate for it. If you don't compensate for it, then you will just do this every day and you just justify every day by saying, oh, it's because some YouTuber told me that it's okay to take breaks. I said breaks, not vacations, okay? <laughs> Having a break literally means having a pause from an event, meaning that you resume the event. But also don't feel bad if you take a break, okay? <laughs> it's known at this point that breaks are very healthy and it's good for you. Just make sure you take breaks with intention and that you promise that you will work hard the next day. And that being said, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.